Hello. I'm Luke, and I'm the Dungeon Master here wow. for this podcast. Wow. The people who play in this podcast will now introduce themselves in sequential order, as they always have. No, all at once, everybody. Let's go. Hi, Hi I'm, I'm Jordan Sweet, <laughs> Carla, and I play the level <laughs> five. I'm here, my oh, show. I'm not having a second yet. I like this. I'm here for the little convenience. This is the intro. This is the intro. And last time on Trials and Trebuchets, <laughs> the students got creeped out by their year advisor, Mr. Felvin, while attempting to negotiate a study buddy exchange, which seemed to be against the rules. After failing this, they met with their mentor, Artis Artesian, to receive their restricted archive passes. He then dismissed Winsler, sending him to deliver their packs from the Plane of Isthel to be repaired by Dawn in the Abjuration Workshop. With Winsler effectively removed from the situation, Artis then asked the group about Winsler and Woods Witches, and finally received the truth about the whole debacle, as well as his green orb from Integrity. We found ourselves now. Ourselves? We find ourselves. We find ourselves. You sound like an old-timey radio host. Find ourselves now. Uh, crikey. I listen to old-timey radio. Is that why oh, you know what crikey. this sounds like? So we find ourselves outside of the conjuration department. It is a small, round building, yurt-like in appearance, um, though a bit bigger. Um, the grouping of Artis Artesian, Integrity Idleberry, Mira Marchand, and Sereneth Cinderman find, are waiting here. They see upon the horizon, coming over the cobbles, a sweaty little boy wins their <laughs> wallaby. Aww. Um, I trip. And you all... As- <laughs> <laughs> I go over and help him. <laughs> Absolutely. You very easily help him up. He has a large scuff on his chin and his oh. knee seems to be scraped through oh. his robes. Probably going to have to patch that up Do later. Do um, <laughs> Wiggles has been crushed. No, I, think okay. I actually have to check on Mr. Wiggles because I don't know if he's actually okay. <laughs> He, he hid in his pocket. Right now, he's got a concussion. Okay. So it's mid-afternoon. You pull him out, and he is happily, like, he is, like, the uh, the state of matter at which Mr. Wiggles finds himself, or at which you find Mr. Wiggles right now, is more akin to liquid than it is to a um, solid. And as you pull him out, he just kind of stretches down. Not to say that he is actually a liquid, but he's just to say cat. that he is a cat, and he is sleeping, oh, he- and seems not to have noticed... If- Whatsoever Can I ask a question? that you've taken a tumble. He sleeps a lot. What's your question? About Mr. Wiggles, just because I understand that he's like a familiar kind of like I understand like yes. that whole scenario. Is You're familiar that he's a familiar. Yes, shut up. But um my question is mostly like except for the times where like we've like obviously pet him before, like he's obviously a solid mass, mm-hmm. but aren't there also times when like a familiar can be like a non solid like, kinda of like a gas or like a, a, a specter of some kind idea? Potentially. Yeah, so like he he trips and falls and he's just like floating in the air because he's just like... Tra- traditionally the Wiggles has remained solid <laughs> at all times. At the- uh, moving into the future, however, who is to say what could happen? Hmm. Gaseous cats could become a reality in our future. I'm imagining a whole thing where like, like this is character development. He's always been a solid. At the end of the series, he becomes so powerful that he can be a specter and just destroy everyone. So... You have all grouped together. Um, artists will walk over and say, oh, Wallaby, are you okay? Yeah. And put his hand and help you up as well. Yeah, I, I um, stripped over my robe a little bit. Oh. Uh, did you manage to find Dawn all right? Well, and- well, I didn't find Dawn, but I found his door. And I filled out the oh. delivery sheet of paper. And after some technical difficulties, I just taped it to the brick wall and closed the door and left the stuff at the front wonderful effort great job (laughs) thank you very much uh all right everyone has their restricted section passes yep correct yes Uh i take out my thing and i bite the gold circle it's not gold oh (laughs) make an investigation check or an arcana check your choice five Ooh. uh it's probably fool's gold okay I still bite it, though. Yeah. You bite it, and it doesn't seem to... <laughs> it clinks, and you're like, yep, that's metal. Okay. Um, and artists will nod at you. 
and say, all right, let's all go to the research archives then. All right. And lead you along like a mama duck with his ducklings. Is that what he says to us? Um, no, that's what I say in the abstract to the audience. <laughs> Let me lead you all along like a mama duck. <laughs> um, so you arrive at the research archives. It is at the very back end of this cavern. You might recall this place from Bookworms, that great time that you all got detention. Serenef, you weren't there, though. No. Um, so sorry. So it's at the back of this cavern. It is a large grand entrance. As you walk in, it is a large open space. It extends high up into the rock face. There's just a uh, beautiful... Uh, varnished and well-kept wood everywhere. There's a nice wooden paneled floor with beautiful carpets all over it. There is uh, well-crafted tables to study at and with leather-backed chair. Well, not leather-backed chairs, but chairs with beautiful upholstering in like this nice dark leather um, in the in near the ceiling and kind of like orbiting around the room in general with not a particular pattern are these large um, colored balls of magical light um, kind of creating this um, ambience, this sort of um, simulation of constant daylight, even despite what time of day it actually is. You, As you might find convenient when studying into the nighttime when it still feels like it's kind of day and you'll walk outside and be like, whoa, it's like midnight. This is crazy, right? And it's a very uh, shocking sometimes. Like you just forget about it. Uh, it kind of tricks your body into believing that it's still early. Um, so you walk in, you see uh, small little clockworks galore going about their business, uh, similar as to the friend you made in a time long ago. And at the front counter, you see three such little clockworks standing next to a immense... Winslow, you just pissed, push, pushed it like a big <laughs> oak. You just... <laughs> Winsler, you just pushed a very large oak cart across campus. This is a slightly larger than that oak cart with more oak on it, so it's probably a bit heavier wow. and a bit wider to carry books around. And there is two um, spherical uh, clockworks here. With each of them has just one large eye, and then one which is a pyramidal py what? one which is a pyramidal um, shape uh, and upside down. His, the feet are coming out of the point. And the hands are coming out of, like, near the top. And it has an eye on every single side. It is a uh, three-sided pyramid. I don't remember the geometric term for that. I apologize. Um, trigonal pyramid. Three-amid. Three-amid. God damn it. That's what it is. <laughs> and standing there, loading book, or not so much loading books as taking books off the counter and dropping them into the small, frail arms of these clockworks, is a plain-looking brown-haired woman with large circular glasses. You know this is the uh, head archivist, uh, Ava Redding, um, who, as the five of you are walking in, Artis uh, waves at her, and she'll wave back at you, or wave back at him, and see all of you and go, Oh, students, uh, how, have, how has your semester been? And kind of drop a very heavy-looking tome, probably thousands of pages long, and just like probably a foot by like half a foot into the arms of this tiny machine and just like it brings it to the ground she has no care and she comes over to you and she goes how is your semester man how are all you doing oh we haven't even gotten so any long. detention oh, so good i know yes you've been on um, excellent behavior i mean no one else in the school has gotten detention at all this year so not so excellent in comparison but relative to your former selves amazing yeah great I don't think we've had the pleasure of meeting. My name is Miss Redding, uh, and yours would be, and she offers a handout to you, Sarah Nepp. Um, It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Sarah Nepp Sinderman. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you as well. Um, I happen to meet your um, friends here. They had chanced themselves into getting detention over some sort of misunderstanding about scheduling. It was the first week at school, so all can be forgiven. And they helped out immensely and had a whole fiasco with the study guide. Um, speaking of that Sunday, there's been some books missing ever since then, or uh, some books and a couple scrolls. Uh, and I was wondering, uh, did those get like brought into the book with you? I don't think so. Or otherwise misplaced? I think they were on the cart that we had sent you away with, and then they just never showed back up on the shelves. So... Uh I was just curious if they got misplaced somewhere or if you knew where they you were. You know, um, the book kind of 
like sucked up a lot of our stuff with us. And also like when we were in there, there was like stuff we had to fight. And so I think if they did, we would have lost track of it. I'm sorry about that. Oh, that's absolutely fine. I can just organize some of the Modrons to go in and get them. It should be no problem whatsoever. We still have access to the book, so it should be no problem. Oh, Don't okay, worry about great. it. Um, <laughs> Did you lock it? Anyways, pardon? Is it locked now? Well, it's in the restricted section, so partially locked. Uh, it's under lock and key, uh, but not locked up. We didn't put a, a lock on the book. That's foolishness. Mm. Knowledge is free, you know? Shouldn't lock it up. Ha! <laughs> That's a joke. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Laugh. I... <laughs> Maybe <laughs> thank you. Maybe on the You're welcome. maybe close to the book you could write a warning just saying. Well, we'll take it into consideration, I suppose. It wouldn't hurt to say don't put your anything on this because it'll eat you. Don't dead open inside. <laughs> God damn or it. Suck you in. Um not a horrible idea. Uh I'll yeah, I'll talk to Professor Underbow about that. It's, yeah, it's just not, a she points a finger at you and she goes, it's not a bad idea. Um, anyways, uh, what are all you doing here today? Actually, we are going to that restricted section for research. Oh, that sounds lovely, I guess. I can't say I've ever been there. Really? Isn't it your job to... Well, my job extends in the archives, the research archives, and the border of that ends at the restricted section, not allowed it through there. Huh. Don't well, have clearance. Who, who takes care of it? Don't know. I assume a golem. You've never seen them? I can't say I've ever seen them. No, that's why I assume it's a golem. Who else would just stay in there constantly? Weirdo. Hi. I'm going to look at everyone. I've known some people. And have like suggesting eyebrows. I don't Suggestive understand any of eyebrows? Don't. Nods, Me either. Like... <laughs> sort of like, oh, it's a mystery. No one knows what happens in there. Well, that's very <laughs> exciting. Uh, we better get to that. Yes, uh, make sure to tell me about it. No one else ever seems to come back and tell me about it. If w Listen, and she kind of pulls you in very close and whispers like, tell me about what's in there. I, like, I'm a curious, I'm a librarian, an archivist. I'm a librarian, I'm a glorified librarian. I'd love to know what's in there and like how it's organized or set up or even just what it looks like, what it smells like, what books they have in there. I don't even know what books they have in there. I said, okay, they, I, okay, okay, yeah. 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 Sure, yeah. yeah. More knowledge for libraries is always good. Totally, yeah. we'll do it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank sure. you, students. Have a great uh -huh. time doing some research. Thanks, bye. Hey, thanks. Don't bye -bye. forget to drink water and stay hydrated. No, don't, please don't mention water. <laughs> well, there shouldn't be... <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we're allowed to Wait, drink you're... in here? No, you're not. You're absolutely right. It's I like forgot a regular library. where we don't were. Don't bring food or water in here, please. Yeah, no food and drinks, please. Okay. Sorry, that was just yeah. like mixed signals. Or animals. Stuffs Mr. Wiggles in my pocket further. <laughs> Anyways, have a wonderful time researching. And she goes back to the Modrons. Um, she scares me. <laughs> she scares you? Yes. Everything scares you. Everything does. Because <laughs> I'm a wanted criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Smooth criminal. Start up just like... I knew you guys, I, you guys told me earlier on that you guys got in trouble a lot, but like, this is kind of, what? Oh, yeah. a book just ate us. We got sucked in a book. And okay. we defeated paper things, and then she got Kravagami, and we found Delnis, and that's pretty much it. No biggie. We found Delnis in a book? Okay, um, well, we can talk about this later. We have Students! Stuff we have to do. Our artist calls yeah, from yeah, very yeah, far away. Sorry, and I'm going to run and try to be like... Like a like a like a like a really good student because he's very disappointed in me, so I'm gonna go the extra mile and not disappoint him. Okay. <laughs> um. So artist leaves you, leads you, not leaves you. Artist leads you See a over towards See a children. <laughs> <laughs> the eastern wing of the library, the archive. Gosh, leads you to the over the eastern wing of the archive and down a fairly well-lit hallway uh it's probably like just 10 feet and then there at the end of the hallway you can see that it just there is a wall that seems to be made out of iron or some sort of other dark metal um and it's just this flat wall on the face of it is like in relief carved a or sculpted a goat's head with its mouth open and its mouth just blank or its face just blank um, and it's just like 
it seems to be like hanging out of the door almost right um and then on the side of like the left side of this hallway there is a small wooden lever with a big brass handle on it uh and artist will s give you mira mm. he pulls out his a coin of his own which matches your own restricted section passes and will look at first integrity which he starts to put his hand out towards and then retrieves it or pulls it back very slowly looks at mira and goes to put it out doesn't even consider winsler and then goes miss cinderman and hands you his coin and goes if you could put that and yours and all the rest of yours into that uh, goat mouth over there, uh, that would be wonderful. Okay. And so you collect these coins and you walk over to the goat mouth and how, what's the, what's the sitch? How are you going to do this? Uh, hmm. Behold my wealth. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's just this goat it, with this stupid expression on its face. <laughs> that's just, It just looks like a dumb idiot goat. With its mouth open. I'm going to walk up to it with, like, the coins in my hand. And I'm go mm -hmm. while I'm walking closer, I'm going to, like, be observing, like, is there, like, a slot somewhere? Or does it just go into the mouth? Like, that sort of thing. Make a perception check, please. Okay. Such amazing rolls, everyone. <laughs> First roll. How do we do? To see if there's a hole. Shut up. <laughs> to push a cart. <laughs> Life is very difficult for us. We're under a lot of stress every single day. Sometimes things are a little bit harder. <laughs> Hear me out. Like, he just gave me coins and was like, take this to the goat. It's like, ah, oh, yes, master. I, I think, think, goat. I think it's goat. voice toast, activated. Toast. Your coins, hand them over. I think it's a clapper. <laughs> Clap on. I think you're supposed to it juggle it. Mouth. Okay, so. I think you have to eat it, and then the goat symbolically will eat the coins. <laughs> Artist turns I to you all and goes, you realize we're in a library, right? And you should not speak so loudly? Sorry. I rolled a 22. <laughs> a 22. It is definitely an iron door. The mouth seems to be the only opening. Okay, I'm gonna... But it is quite voluminous inside. Oh, uh, yes. I'm gonna have... I'm gonna use my hand with the coins... And I guess okay. I'm going to reach inside the mm -hmm. mouth. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to do that. And just deposit the coins? Yes. Absolutely. It is large enough to fit your entire hand holding the coins and just dump them out inside. Yeah. So that is what you do. Yeah. Very simply. And then you back up and then artists will pull the tiny little lever on the wall and the goat's mouth closes and its eyes turn green. And then it will chew um, 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 and make that sound. And then you hear the sound of metal clinking, the sound of coins falling behind the door and within the door. Um, oh, we have to take them out of the horse. Too long, door. for a very long time, for probably like a minute and a half, you just hear coins clinking. And then the goat will say, Artist, Artesian, Integrity, Idleberry, Mira Marchand, Serenep Cinderman, Windsor Wallaby. You may enter the restricted section. And it is loud. It is <laughs> loud. Right? I think I instinctively like put my finger up to shush it. it, 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 it <laughs> this the is a library. Back. And then artists will say, and now you walk in. As I walk past artists, as I walk past art, uh, I, as I walk past artists, I'm going to be like, you know, last time someone put their hand into a hole you almost lost your finger until i took it out right before Part of it. it oh shit <laughs> <laughs> um, the truth come out this is gonna, too much honesty. Dude, he gonna, is unconscious gonna, during that i'm gonna walk past <laughs> uh, and grab integrity's hand and just pull her along following everyone else and just leave him with that thought of like you almost lost a finger as, yeah as you as you pull her away he's like what and like you're <laughs> and all gone and i'm gonna fast. be and i'm gonna be so, like winsler he needs to know that i saved his finger <laughs> so I are you just gonna walk <laughs> i are you gonna walk yeah. 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 level Is there five anything cool, like, rogue. along the way <laughs> rope you know on the century. walls or whatever well, 
I guess my question arises from the fact that the goat just said enter. Yeah, I know. I mean, we're going to go in. The wall is like, there's no open. There's nothing. I was just going to try to walk through it. Okay, Maybe it's cool. like Everyone's seen Plary Potter, so <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say we need an umbrella. I mean, and I a, wasn't going to say wall anything, to but <laughs> all right, you all walk through this iron goat wall Sweet. very simply. <gasps> wow. Um, and on the other side, on the left hand side of the hallway, is a small little wire basket with all your coins in it, um, which you all retrieve. With so this a... is the goat's stomach wall. Wow, <laughs> something like that. And there is a drastic decrease in the furnishings immediately. Like, you're just in a hallway now, but there's a objective difference from the room you were just in and the room you are now in. There's, the wood is, the floor is still wood, but it is gray and washed out as if it has not been maintenance very well and is very old. The few steps you do take are just ridiculously squeaky. And then there's just stone walls that are like curved and bare so it just echoes right there's like nothing to help and you retrieve the coins and walk 10 or so feet down the hallway to a small cramped dark room that is lit by small candles upon a single long table made of this same washed out grayish colored wood like the you know someone's deck when it's outside in the like in the elements and then they don't maintenance it year after year and it just turns that really gross color yeah that's what the wood in this room looks like and it's disgusting quite honestly um there's cobwebs like in the corners of this very low ceilinged room in the dark corners the bookshelves themselves just kind of line the outside of the wall um there's this table that looks like it was the same table that would be in dining hall except it looks about like a thousand years older with the big benches beside like it just looks haggard that would be the descriptor for this room would be haggard or cramped right uh it's just uncomfortable the air is musty there's dust everywhere um at the far end of the room there is a small what seems to be a help desk someone is sitting behind it well they're sitting behind it and they seem to be turned to the side and are like sorting things and rolling things it looks like rolling a scroll up. Um, and then behind them and behind the desk is our iron bars, which seem to be not decorative in any sense, which is not the style at Wyclef. They seem to be purely utilitarian iron bars. Uh, and then beyond those iron bars is another smaller room that just seems to be lined with sh- uh, map shelves and scroll shelves. So this is the restricted section. Um, artists will very quickly pull on two of your shoulders probably like mira and winsler and like pull you and say everyone come here for a second and Mm -hmm. huddle you all up and very quietly say now do not comment on it you will understand what i mean in a few seconds but don't mention it and then when we go back out don't talk about it all right all Uh... right go team break and fuck? claps very quietly okay. and calmly. What does it mean by don't mention it? And then he proceeds to walk towards the research Fucker. help desk. Mm. Would you all like to follow? Yeah, yes. sure. I'm so curious Let's after go. you said that. Yep. Okay. Standing behind the counter, or sitting behind the counter rather, turn to the side, rolling up a very, what seems like absurdly long scroll, um, is a brown haired, plain looking woman with circular glasses. Um, Why? Um, oh! Is this a is this a Who's nurse Joy situation or an officer Jane situation? The exact same situation. Turn to you as a group and say, "Hello, welcome to the restricted section. Uh, my name is Miss Redding. How can I help you?" Uh, One we are here. To roll we are here for scroll. research. Hi. Nice Hello. to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. My name's Miss Redding. I would um, like one book, please. One book. What it. on? <laughs> Do you want this scroll? And she holds up a scroll. And like holds it above her head and you can see that it just goes on forever. And she's like, do you want this scroll? Can you roll this scroll? up? Do you want a job? Hey, do you guys want any gold? If you roll this up for me, I'll pay you to do this. I will immediately go and do that. What's the scroll about? I nudge integrity. Maybe they have a pink topaz here. (laughs) (laughs) Can one of these books make pink topazes specifically? How to make pink topaz out of air. 
<laughs> How to alchemy um, out of nothing. The full metal alchemist. In way. response, as he, as she pulls up a large, like burlap sack that is filled with unraveled scroll and and plus like the giant. It's probably like a six inch diameter rolled up scroll already. Plus this huge burlap sack. It could easily fit like if if it could act like a tent, right? Like it's a huge sack, and she'll lift it up and drop it on the other side of the counter for you. And she goes, "Yeah, um." It's a scroll about acute paralytic poisons originating from turnips. Who needs eight volumes of that? And who makes it in a scroll? It's a 27 meter scroll. Who does that? You know? Crazy it, people. And then she will thump, like pull at her um, belt and take out two gold coins and hand them to you, Winslow, and go, thank you very much. Now, uh, did you need any research assistance? What can I help you with? I I'm going to look up to Artis. Mm-hmm. Artis will scratch his face and go, well, we were hoping you could get us or some assistance with uh, magical relics, uh, wood witches, that kind of thing, uh, point us in the right direction. And she'll think for a second and go, the history section is right over there and point at a single shelf. And the planar research section is over there and point at two shelves. And she will go, if you need me, I'll be right here. Oh, hey, also, uh, do you have anything about, um, Shiora? The history section is over there. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering if you had that in that section. I don't know. Go check it out. Okay. Thank right you. Right over there. See it? And she leans over and points at it. She goes, oh, right there. Over the, oh, the over history there. section. So, the one the with the section. header, the unpolished header. Oh, the history section. There's no the main here. The one that says history section? History. History. Oh, history. Dude, she's yeah. so sassy. History I love section. this. It's great. Do you also have a book about... Cobras falling from the sky. What? Can't say I do. <laughs> Can't say off the top of my head that that is ever a thing that has ever been said to me. You have I any... think you've just said a brand new thing. You... Congratulations. Do you have any books on cooking? No. This is... And she looks at Aris and she goes... And she just shrugs. And like, what? Yeah, there are forbidden cooking books in here that we can and look at. And he goes... Evil I'm cooking. sorry, Evil this cooking. is the first time. Evil we didn't really have a lar- very large, like, this is what the restricted section for. And he's going to turn to you guys and go, everyone, this is the restricted section. It's for restricted information, either sensitive information or information that well, is very precious and should not be handled. No human should ever read. A low, a low fat cookie, cookie dough recipe. It's in that case, I think and that it tastes exactly like we a cookie. should look for. Oh my God. In that- <laughs> That'd be restricted, wouldn't it? <laughs> In that case, we should look for it ourselves instead of bothering Miss Redding. Don't you think? And Miss Redding goes, yes. Sorry. I'm going to start walking okay, towards sorry. the history section. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. Okay. I'm going to sit I'm gonna sit by her desk and just start rolling the scroll up. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going to go look in so, the planar dimension shit. Yeah. Okay. This is the order we're going to go. We're going to go. Winslow rolling the scroll. Serenath. Integrity. Mira. Winsler. Artis. <laughs> and you, nope. Artis, please roll. Oh yeah, sure. Me. Simwa. 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 So, and this is going to be something Simwa. called a skill. you have forgotten is... who you are. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please continue. <laughs> I can see what's okay. happening. I'm done. Sorry. This is going to be a skill challenge, a research skill challenge. Oh, oh shit. shit. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. And I'll tell you just straight up, if you get a perfect score, you'll get a bonus. Oh, shit. <gasps> All right? I like bonuses. So if you make it through the entire skill challenge without failing once, you'll get a bonus. Or per- perhaps if other things happen, you'll get a bonus. Or if you just stumble upon something in a particularly clever way, right? You know, you get you get how the game plays. You guys know how to play D&D. Uh, so, I'd like to give each of my friends a bardic inspiration die, please. Can Man, you do, do that? that? You have four? Yeah. Well, they have a library. Uh, yeah, you just start playing? Okay. Are you, how do you... <laughs> how will you do? I'm going to just like... Dark ambiance. I'm, I like, I'm not going to like pull it out and fully start playing. It's just mm-hmm. kind of at my hip. And I'm just going to like slowly bring my like hand to my hip and just kind of pluck a pluck a tune very very softly (laughs) and just like give my friends all an encouraging nod over the desk as she's like like don't you fucking do it i'm like giving them all like smiles nods trying to be like quiet secretive strumming for them (laughs) so as you strum 
a couple times. You hear a very loud, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Please be quiet. Oh, man, do you need some water? research desk. Sorry. No, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> scares me. And she seems to sit back and continue full sc- rolling up another scroll. Um, so, Serenep, what skill will you use? And describe to me how you're going to research. And um, we'll figure it out. And then we'll make a check. Well, because we're looking at the realm of Isithel. I said that right. Correct? Isabel? Yes, yeah, the plane of Isabel. Plane of Isabel. And we can't really go yes. there. I guess I'm going to look for books about that and maybe like history that might lead to like relics, that sort of thing. Okay. What check do you want to make? What skill would you like to use? Um, because I haven't been here before, uh, I guess I would use perception or investigation. Perception. I would argue in favor of investigation. Okay. And just so that the rules are very clear, after Serenepth uses investigation, the rest of you cannot. What? Or you could, Ooh. but you will suffer a demerit. Oh, oh shit. So you're saying at you would some be rolling points, with... we have to specifically use acrobatics to look for something. I don't, yeah. you, you don't have to use acrobatics. I love this. But I embrace cleverness, and I reward cleverness, please. Well, in that case, if we're me. doing it to that advantage, maybe I can use Arcana to oh search for sure. it because i think i have clairvoyance or something like that something to that sure. effect give me an arcana check okay. then. let's go that is a 17 wonderful so with a 17 you peruse the history section and you find a book entitled relics which will reshape the world okay sounds a little bit and funny. reading th- and thumbing through that you find you like it's this is a tedious work to say that this all happens in the span of a couple minutes is not true. This occurs lo- over a long duration. Of I like period, take the book, sit down at like a desk or something, and just start flipping through. Yes, at the only creaky table in the room, you sit down at and start thumbing through it, and it is a dusty old tome, and you just are skimming, looking for heart of gold or something, and you find a reference in this book to a set of relics called the Precious Set, which were forged far in the north uh, that include the Brain of Sapphire, Heart of Gold, and Iron Stomach. Wow. And that's kind of the only reference that you can find Ooh. in your first couple of looks about. Is there, like, an index at the back that has, like, certain, like, keywords? Like Yes, there would be. And we can come to that. Just keep it stored in your brain so that I don't forget and you don't forget. Your sapphire brain. I'm relying on you. You're telling you. this to a girl Integrity. with horrible memory. Let's go. <laughs> Integrity. What skill and what would you like to do to research? How tall is this um, shelf? The shelf is eight feet tall. Okay, perfect. The shelves are eight shelves. feet tall. Okay. I would like to pray. <laughs> Use my oh. religion. Oh shit. Sure. And pray. Okay. And pray. Um, all the gods that exist, please help me find a good book because I really want to learn more about this progenitor. Please. Roll a religion check. Yes, sis. I got twenty-three. Oh nice. Oh, and P- PS, if the book is high, I'm going to use my tensor loading disc. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you rub your hands together and pray. And for a few moments, nothing happens. And then a very small scroll just drifts off of the top shelf of one of the um, bookshelves. Like, on, like, it wasn't even on a shelf. It was on top of it, right? Like in storage. And it just, for no reason, there's no wind in here, drifts down. And you pick it up. And presumably sit down. It is a much shorter scroll than the wind- one Winsler is still rolling up. Gotta get that bread. <laughs> and it is at the very top in a very beautiful set of writing. It is entitled Archaeological Advancements of the Adriac Desert. Ooh. And it seems to be very fragile in um, feel, right? Like you can feel it almost like coming off onto your hands, the parchment. And the the date 
on it, it or it's written by a um, Professor Taylor's uh, and the date is some 350 years ago. And as you read through it, it seems to be just like the logs of a research expedition with a professor and a few independent researchers that went out to this desert, um, which is fairly far west. And um, near the end, after you've read this thing for probably two and a half hours, again, it's not a super long scroll, but it is a lot to read and parse, you know, um, to find what you're looking for. There is a section which describes finding a um, collapsed part of a structure beneath the sand in the southeastern quadrant of the desert. Within the structure, there were hundreds of skeletons that they had found in somewhat of a kneeling position. They didn't seem to be disturbed much. They assumed that the like the breakage in the structure was recent um, and that the elements were just starting to come in because the skeletons near the door or near the hole, I suppose, were kind of blown and moved around by the winds. But at the far side of this large room, they were fine. And all of them were seemed to be knelt facing a central altar, which had a dark blue pyramidal crystal upon it oh shit and on the walls and this is like a kind of slight detail like it's a one sentence detail of like there were mosaics on the walls of stars Shit. um and that's it a one paragraph description that's like near the end of the um document mira okay what skill and what would you like to do yes okay so here is my thinking I think because he came from a book that is now in the restricted section, I want to hope that Kurogami is kind of imbued with some sort of maybe knowledge, you know, something like that. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to kind of just let him rest, um, uh, take him out, let him rest kind of on my finger. And I'm going to say, um, I'm going to look around. If you can give me a hand, maybe find something to do with orbs or Shiora or anything similar, that would help me out a lot. And I'm going to roll animal handling. Oh, Absolutely. Okay. Oh, 18 plus. What is what even is my animal hit? 1, 19. Wonderful job everyone. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You find a history of the ancient empires. Which is a thick dusty old book that doesn't seem like anyone has touched ever. Like it almost looks like it is wider or thicker than it is wide, you know? And like it would be it would have made more sense to publish this in multiple volumes, but some idiot decided to do it this way. And in the table of contents here, I guess I should say how you find it. Uh, you kind of like hope and pray for Kurogami and like try to talk to him. And they fly over and just land on this large book, which you struggle to take off the shelf and bring over to the bench. You sit down and probably not the first page of the table of contents because it is a dense it's probably a 20 page table table of contents um you eventually find something which mentions uh empires of the adriac convenient enough um and in reading that you uh read about how it was once a there's a bit of background about how it was once a um very lush rainforest-esque place um desertification occurred however uh in the millennia or two since the fall of the Shioran Empire, of which there is only uh, tangential evidence of ever really existing. The structures and um, scraps of clothing and uh, not so much text or anything, they, those seem to have rotted away in the time it took to find these uh, dig sites. Um, but a fairly broad overview of the culture um seems to have been accrued uh over multiple probably like 10 or 12 different dig sites of finding these large temples or these settlements in the um desert and culturally they seem to be they were an empire and and very prolific at that covering most of the um western section of the continent um, never really extending outside of that rainforested zone, which has slightly decreased in size nowadays, so that it might be difficult to pin down exactly where their empire stood. Um, 
but it is very well known or very easily known that it did not extend out of what was once the rainforest. And they worshipped this a imperial family um, as that, that they believed that was a, a godly or yeah appointed by the gods to lead them to ascension um and that it was a culture that routinely practiced human sacrifice and the like um Interesting. and it is suspected that a plague or something that was brought due to sea travel which was thought to have arisen in sm- not like deep sea travel but coastal travel um was thought to have arisen and perhaps a plague was brought back to the centralized cluster of where their um, civilization was and wiped them all out hmm. cool winsler wallop yes what are you gonna do what skill would you like to roll and what would you like to do to assist in the research methods well i'm i'm still rolling up that scroll that i said that i would help roll up um yeah you are so i am going to um put it down for a sec Okay. Uh, and I'm going to pull Mr. Wiggles out of my pocket. Okay. And I want to see if I can just, like, stir him awake a bit. Okay. You, like, wiggle him. Ha. <laughs> ha. Uh, and um, he se- his eyes, one opens, and then the other. And then a very quiet, low, in a quiet, low voice, as he looks around, he goes, Where are we? Oh, we're, we're, ju- we're just in, like, the, a restricted section of the library. Uh-huh. Uh, you're, you're good at finding stuff, right? I'm excellent at finding things. Okay. Uh I am I have to roll up the scroll, but could you could you maybe do me a favor? Depends on what the favor is. I want you to What do you need? I want you to see if you can if you can use your 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 little schnoz there. I want Please do not call my nose a schnoz. Okay. Your your li- your little nose, I'm going to wiggle my finger at his nose. My my nose. Uh I want to see if you can use your nose to maybe uh Mm. Sniff out the oldest book you might be the able to find in the, in this year's section. Book. So are you assuming, Winsler, that the oldest book is the worst smelling? Or are you just assuming that I can differentiate books based on age based scent? Probably yes to both. Yes to both. Well, you'd be very correct, because I can do both. And the first is probably not true, though. So not yes to both. Yes to the second. Oh, okay. Could you go? Could you go and maybe look for something like that? I have to keep rolling up the scroll because I I told uh, Miss Redding that I would. Okay, roll a. I was gonna say perception. Yes. Because but use the wiggles. Use the wiggles and because you... it and you get advantage because it relies on smell. Yes. Because he's a kitty. Because he's a kitty. Ew, that was not great. Um, that was a fifteen. Okay, wiggles. Mr. Wiggles wanders around lackadaisically, um, haughtily, um, and looking here and there, sniffing the air, taking a moment, sitting, licking and grooming himself for a second, sniffing again, confirming his suspicions, heading towards a particular shelf, and he will say, meow, and look over in your direction. I will immediately put down the scroll and hastily and run And Miss Redding will, like, put down her scroll and look over and go, Did you bring a cat in here? He's, he's not just a cat, he's a friend. Okay. Does he have hair? Do you have, do you have hair? I don't think I've ever seen you shit. Wiggles will say, I groom myself, but I am made of arcane energy. I'm going to turn back to Miss Redding. He says he's made of arcane energy, so he doesn't really shed. Yeah, I heard it. All right. <laughs> Fine. And she'll sit back down, annoyed. I'm going to turn back to Mr. Wiggles and just shrug. He sits there and licks himself, and he goes, Tastes like hair. <laughs> did, did you happen to find anything? There's a book here that is, smells like the oldest one to me. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to pick him up. I'm going to pet him. Okay. Pet him many times. Pick him up and pet him. He begins to purr. I'm going to put him back in my pocket and I'm going to You think to yourself, it feels like he has fur. The, I'm just now like beginning to think, okay, this is weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh I'm going to put him back in my pocket and then I'm going to grab the book that he was referring to. Okay. You It's a very thin book. 
where all the rest of these have been older or not older, like bigger, much more hefty books. This is a very slight, almost like a, a journal or something. Pocket dictionary. And you pull it out and it just says on the front in a very plain script, Principles of Clockworks. It doesn't seem highly relevant, but it seems like the heart or the oldest book. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and take a look inside. Okay. It is, as you flip inside, it is um, written the pioneering uh, manual to clockwork and golemnology <gasps> by Davis Wilburn, uh, founder of Wildcliff Enchantment Department. Ooh. And it's only like a 50 page book. And flipping through it, it seems like partially a work log and partially a guide on how to assemble clockworks and um, the basics of creating sentient or not partially sentient golems, um, not entirely sentient and capable of thinking for themselves, but capable of processing simple commands and not requiring hand holding as um, other golem enchantment techniques might have required. Um, and the actual part or the actual portion of the um, book, which goes through like as, as work notes, essentially as like a, a notebook and just has like very badly scrawled writing um, outlines the creation of two large clockworks um, that were kind of like a um, prototyping of the system explained in the book. And they have these very sparse bodies made out of this uh, brass, which is stated in the book is used for its uh, arcane conductivity um, and is recommended as the material for golems going into the future, um, or at least clockworks at the very least. Uh, and they have, one of them has a large orbicular crystal ball for a head and the other has a more uh, oblong one. Wow. Did we just find the schematics for Tolinari? Are they, okay. are, do they, does it have? Is there a, is there a blueprint specifically for making them really weirdly into gossip? It has <laughs> nothing about personality <laughs> design. Funny. It's only about following instructions and being able to um, perform tasks for protection of land. I was, I was really hoping there was going to be like a sketch in this book that like reveals like, oh, this is them without their cloak. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh. It's like a weird, super hollow, almost skeleton that just has like a really like it almost like it like it has two rib cages on both sides. And like it looks like it has t two sets of skeletons back to back, but just one set of shoulders and one set of arms. What is this like seeing Space Mountain with the lights on? I don't like it. <laughs> I know precisely what I'm going to do. OK, Um, I'm going to close the book. OK, I'm going to look around for a brief mm. moment. Mm -hmm. Is there like any small like space that's sort of like off to the side, like you can't easily see somebody? Not overly, no. No. You could probably stand at the far end of the table and kind of be out of view, but your friends are sitting at the table and as well as artists. Okay, I'll be far at the end of the table. Okay. And I'm just going to very carefully like try and like pile stuff so it doesn't so people can't really see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to copy the schematics for these golems into my spell book, into the back, Absolutely. where I keep my yogurt recipe. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yogurt All the recipe important and golem stuff. recipe. <laughs> First, you build golem, teach them to make yogurt, and now you have a yogurt machine. You're going to make machine. a yogurt machine. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, Winsler is a genius. And then we're going to create a whole new golem called Yog, and he's going to be a frozen <laughs> yogurt machine. Oh, God. <laughs> Isn't that what is your friend place. does? Like your um your roommate? Like he tries to make machines that are guys. That is, pre that is precisely it. Mr. Kurt's Kurt. Kurt's Kurt. That's good. Oh wow. That's good. Serenepth. I, hi. The research is not yet complete, and the index is still sitting right there. Okay, I guess I'm gonna look through the index because I found stuff about the. I guess I guess I kind of want to look into the three different parts. Uh, I guess I want to start with the heart of gold because that's the one I'm 
I guess, most familiar with if it's in this index area. Absolutely. Um, in the index, it directs you to page 578. You flip to that page and there's a small breakout box that has like a comment um, about the, or it's not even a comment. It's like a um, a couple sentences mm -hmm. at most about the Heart of Gold. And it says that it was a, you were really smart and used an index. Can I... Is everyone okay with me just giving you a success? Because that's smart. Thank you. Right? Yeah. I'm okay with okay. that. I did too much research before this. Totally. So. I know what that Serenet's means. Serenet's galaxy brain. Um, yeah. <laughs> the Tim and Eric It's a gift minor just... artifact. The book says that it is a minor artifact used by giants to create large castles made of entirely fused stone and ores and gems without having to use as many slaves or put in as much work. Mm. What? That's, so wait a second. So that seems to be its original purpose. When looking through the first couple of pages and finding, it was the iron stomach, the heart of gold, and the what was the third one? Brain of sapphire. Brain of sapphire. It's interesting because like the brain of sapphire, that's a gem, but the other two are like material, like iron and like that kind mm -hmm. of thing. So I guess brain of sapphire would be my next thing to look at in the index. Okay. Integrity. That's me. I'll tell you that the it is up to you, right? Like this is the last one, you know. So oh, of what? What you gonna do? Else, I want to look for. Yeah. Um, I would like to. <sighs> so, what is behind Miss Redding? Maps and there is like iron bars and like a room with scrolls and maps. And does it seem very secretive? Like no, it just seems like. The storage area for oh. maps and scrolls. Well, I'm sure if you asked, you could probably get in. Okay. Um, if you're not an asshole. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. So, hmm. If there was... If I were look... If I looked for orbs, would it probably have been the history section? Like, the existence of orbs... That are where do you think? Where magic. would you want to look for it? So, what are the sections? There's history. There's there's history, planar, planar research, arcane theory, divine theory, musical theory, poisons, alchemy, herbology, uh, zoology, zoological advancements that are not fit for children. That's literally the header for not that section. Not fit for children. Um, what the fuck kind of musical theory needs to be restricted? Are there like, is this like the town from Footloose? Like, are there songs that are just <laughs> too bad to be shown uh, to the there's youth? A sec there's a large section about artificery. Um, what is artificery? Artifacts? The creation of magical artifacts. <gasps> well, obviously that could be the orbs because they're okay. magical. So if you would like to peruse that, give me the relevant check, please. I would like to... <laughs> two i would like to do a flip because i'm getting bored right <laughs> at this point is this carla or integrity oh no, no. <laughs> integrity because you told me that i just finished reading for two hours with no breaks yes. you've all been here for like two or three hours at so this i'm point, going to walk towards the the bookshelves uh using my hands you know like walk with my hands Okay. Uh, so how does that aid your research? Get some movement going. Oh, it's just like something okay. cool. Okay. And oh, so you're just doing this. This isn't the skill you wanted to roll. This is just you doing it. Well, I thought that it needed to be creative in order to help aid me. Yeah, you, you be creative. Well, cool. What skill do you want to roll for this? Walking on the hands. Oh, um, I would like to use my athletic. <laughs> Absolutely. You can roll athletics to reinvigorate your body with energy yeah, so, so that, that you might I... go about your search yes. at a more efficient rate. Exactly. That's what I was saying. Yeah. You physical you said it before me. activity helps the brain. Yes. You know? And I wanted to look for orbs. We'll see. We'll see how successful that is. Oh right, I have to roll. Roll for your it. check. <laughs> yeah. I forgot that that was a thing that we do. Yes, sis. Um, sorry, that was really weird. Uh, I have seventeen plus. What did I say? Athletics seven to, to, to twenty two. Wow, what a great roll! Um, so you walk on your hands. The rest of you see integrity walking on your hands. 
Miss Redding sees Integrity walking her hands. <laughs> Artist looks up and sees Integrity walking her hands and goes, oh no. And all you hear this. And then Miss Redding goes, stop it. This is a place of research and civility. Walk on your feet, please. I'm sorry. I just want to wake up. Go take a walk then. I am walking. On your feet. Oh. <laughs> So I'm gonna start walking with my and she will my sit hand back and in foot, her chair. <laughs> like crawl. oh my gosh, <laughs> like bear walk. Yes. <laughs> okay. Artist looks over at you, Serenath, with like his hand on his face, like mortified of like, <laughs> and he'll say, "She knows that she reflects me when she acts like this, right?" I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm like I'm still like sitting at the table with my big book. I'm gonna rub my forehead. I'm gonna stand up like wipe off my clothes and walk over and I go you can walk on your hands once we leave but for right now could you please help me in studying this book well I'm looking for something and I continue walking away I'm Integrity gonna turn my I'm gonna like her turn my head feet and hands I'm looking still up looking at you. for something I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn my head down so that I'm closer down with at her level <laughs> And I'd be like, yes. what exactly are you looking for from down here? Or books. Well, I can help you look for the book if you stand up on your feet. I stand up on my feet. Actual okay. kindergarten teacher, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I learned how to treat kids with dignity from Super Nanny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You have to go to the naughty section. You have to bend down at their level. Don't talk down to them. <laughs> That so, is not acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> so, integrity. Uh, unfortunately, just perusing, you don't manage to find anything about orbs. But you are invigorated, and you grab a bunch, a handful of books and scrolls and stuff from the ta- from the shelf, history section, and sit down and start skimming at super fast speeds. And the third thing that you seem to skim, like it is literally like you open the book and just like skim through the pages. You're barely reading it. You're barely reading it. It is not happening. So basically how I read. You have keen mind. So like when you see words, you remember the words and what page they were on, but they make no connected narrative in your mind, um, nor tell you genuinely anything. Oh. Um, But they aren't orb and they aren't interesting. So you ignore it. And then you open a scroll and it is in a script which you do not understand and it is written in dark red ink oh yes it's made of blood Um, but you can't read it it's made of blood (laughs) because it ain't written in common or draconic it's not a language you speak but it seems interesting to you it seems really metal can i um can i point it to other people and be like do you guys understand this very easily you could point it to other people and say do you understand this as integrity turns the scroll around and holds it up to you um I don't think any of you except uh, Winsler and artists would understand it. But Winsler, you understand it because it's in Dwarven. Oh. Uh, and it's this, um, it's titled Advancements in Dwarven Mining Technology, a technical manual. Um, and it's just this scroll, a very short scroll. And it's written in this dark reddish brown ink. Um, and as you come over, as you finish writing up your blueprints into your book and close them and put them on the table and kind of wander over and start reading it it becomes more unethical by the line oh as it Mm. talks about the uh in the aftermath of a war with the giants and the acquisition of a powerful relic uh suits of armor were converted to mining suits and were modified with uh spikes to harvest psionic energy from criminals who were put inside the suits um, um, by probing into their brain and sucking out the psionic energy which is a word which is repeated many times and is highly emphasized uh, the words brain matter or a life force are never once used but psionic energy is used many times um and there's very vivid instructions on how to recreate these things which oh. is probably why it's in the restricted section <laughs> um I'm gonna think real hard on this, and I'm gonna look to integrity and says, and I'm gonna say, um, I've 
would would you like a, a like a copy of this? I could probably translate it for you. Well, does it say anything about orbs? Psionic energies? <laughs> do, do, do you know what that word means? No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you could probably translate it for me, and then I'll look for what psionic means eventually, I guess. Please? Okay, I'm going to take the scroll, I'm going to go back to my seat, and I'm going to start translating <laughs> this word for word. Okay. Trying to make it a little bit nicer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they were fun suits fun for suit. correction. <laughs> I'm leaving psionic to help people think really hard. I'm leaving psionic energies in there because I don't know what it means. <laughs> okay, all right, you've succeeded the skill check, but there was one failure, so you don't get specials. You get a fucking unethical charter. <laughs> um, is that this better? entire time? Uh, Artis has been looking through the shelves, reading all the books that he can that reference Plane of Isithel or. Uh, relics of some sort. He's been mainly focusing on the planar research uh, section. Um, and then eventually we'll go over or just stand up and say, um, excuse me, is there a book about hags by chance? And Miss Redding will go, there's the one, but it um, got checked out. And he will go, oh, mm. um, do you know by who? And she will say, um, she will say, let me look at my notes. Cause it's very I don't, nice of her I, to take let notes. Let me look at my <laughs> you, checkout You could have scroll. made it sound nicer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> her her See checkout ben? scroll. All right. Artist will ask, oh, do you know who checked it out? And uh, Miss Redding will say, <sighs> well, let me look for you at my checkout scroll. <laughs> <Don't you laughs> have to make it and be very annoyed. <laughs> and she will look at it and go, it was checked out by Miss Lontos, an independent researcher. Lontos? To research polymorphing. Fantastic. And it was due back five days ago. So, that's just how things are. And artists will... Scratch his head and look at you, Winsler, and say, I guess you'll need to speak with Miss Lontos. Who is that? I have no idea. Mm. What did she look like? Oh, are you asking me? Yeah. Whew. Well, short. Uh, all right. <laughs> a anything else? Short for Winsler or short for average? <laughs> oh, Around your height. A anything else? Nothing really pops into my mind. No, it's not my job to memorize people. This is like an Animal Crossing when if you go to the mail station at night, <laughs> instead of having like the regular <laughs> cheery mail lady, there's just one who's so rude to you. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. <laughs> what a great analogy. Um, I, I, so I guess not. Artists will say, um, I can ask around and see who it might be and send you a note in the morning if you'd like. Sure. That'll do. <laughs> sure. Um, and with that, you will all, at the end of this six-hour study period, research period, get up and with your newfound knowledge, leave the restricted section. Um, bye. I. <laughs> she does not say bye back. I will um, give her a friendly wave. Whatever friendship you she want, does not this wave back. is never going to happen. That's okay. She seems very unhappy. And as you leave, you just leave out the same I'm way you came. There's a, no a polite bow and say, I'm sorry. And then leave the rest. She just watches you as you go with angry eyes. As I walk away, I will walk <laughs> with my two hands. Um, if you, if, as we're walking, if you keep making just... that face, it'll stay that way. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you guys. Um, as we're walking, can I just like whisper to Integrity? Um, hey, uh, can I talk to you uh one on one a little bit later? Oh sure. Okay, cool. Can I also say the same thing to <laughs> to um artists? So you wanna walk up behind him and go, Can I talk to you later? No. <laughs> you just walk up and go, Okay, cool. Like, Everybody's planning secret meetings with everybody. I'll be like, 
And then Artis goes up to Winsler, <laughs> and then Winsler goes up to Sarah. And I'll be like, Mr. Artis Artisan, or what do you call him? Oh, wait, Artis? What? Um, if, if you're free, can we please talk about, can we please talk about... <laughs> right talk? now? Um, whenever you're free. Tonight? Just... Talk about what? I have questions. Come to my office sometime tomorrow and ask me then. Okay. And you all walk through the goat door. Who goes? Shut up. As you all and exit, oh God. as if to announce to anyone outside, people are leaving. It's it seems like nice an anti-theft mechanism. <laughs> really? Um, uh, yes, I too am suspicious. If the goat blares its horn at me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and as I you mean, walk you have out, to be desensitized to it at some point. Like, if you work in the library, you just have to get used to hearing the goat scream at you maybe a couple or times a day. Or one really committed student who just, like, studies there all the time between classes. You gotta use that noise at some point, right? So, you all walk out. Um, it seems to be not so busy here anymore. It's about 9 p.m. at night on a day that there's no school today or tomorrow, and people don't really want to study. Um... At the help desk is a uh, brown-haired, plain-looking woman with circular glasses. She is sorting books to be arranged for to the next morning, like making nice little displays of like, look at this beautiful textbook on the front counter. Don't you want to spend 300 gold on it? Probably not. Anyways, um, and she'll see you and go, oh, how was your research, everyone? Again. As artists uh, looks down at you and continues to walk. Uh, fun. Hey, Abba, I have a question. Um, yeah. It may, might be a weird one. I'm going to walk do you a little like, bit faster. Do you live here? Like, do you sleep here? No, I have a house. You have a house, huh? Yes. Okay. Um, I, That's it was an just, odd question. Yeah, I know. I told you it was going to be an odd question. I was just curious. Yeah, I've, didn't I've never, expect that one. I, well, I've never, never seen you in, in the, the halls or anything, so that's just why I was asking. You know how like you always secretly yeah. think that teachers sleep at school? And also, this yeah. is a boarding school, so I wasn't sure you if there was like a mattress I, in the back. I mean, technically, we all sleep at the school, technically, like, yeah. on campus, right? But yeah. my house is well, I, technically on campus. Okay, it's hazy, yeah. you know? Yeah, I wasn't um, but sure. No, I don't sleep here. I, I just work really long shifts, is all. Oh, yeah, no, you're, you're just always here so late and yeah. so busy. So I just wanted to make sure that you were getting enough sleep. Anyway, um, yeah. our uh, restricted section was fine. Honestly, probably the reason nobody has told you anything about it is because it's really boring. But anyway, oh. sorry That's to tell you that. disappointing. But... Yeah, but, there's nothing. It's not that exciting. It's just shelves. But all right, make a deception check. <laughs> My allergy. All right. Twelve oh, no. plus oh, no. six is eighteen. Okay, she'll go. Darn, that wasn't. I wasn't really. I was kind of hoping for more. You know. Yeah. Well, so were we. Well, anyway, have a good evening. Yeah, you too. Take it easy. Bye. You know, don't get any any more trouble, y'all. I make a goat um, sound yeah. to sort of mock the goat sound that we just listened to. The, a small clockwork pushing a trolley looks at you and shakes its head and like makes t clicking noises at its companion walking beside it. And they just I'm just going to wave at clicks. it. They make an insight check. Insight check. Yes, please. They might they be, be talking, talking smack. Mad smack. How rude! Oh, shit. They are roasting you right now on your goat impression. Or maybe because I didn't have <laughs> I enough base. Nothing like the door. <laughs> what do you want me to roll again? Insight you can roll check. Insight. You roll the A's. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, you look at them. You squint, and your eyes squint as what or what? Your ears. The the cone of what? the cone. Your the cone of squint. listening on your ears. Like that feature that's on phones where it's like, oh, you zoom in the microphone. You hone into the their microphone, conversation. like range just like decreases and it kind of turns into like a shotgun microphone. Your ears do that as your eyes squint and you hear like, K -k 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 -k, right? As like, it seems like they are imitating your goat call <laughs> in their click language and mocking you for it. Wow. How rude. I just look at them more and stare at them and be like, ma. <laughs> All right. And with that exciting thing as the rest of the students and artists leave the research archives and integrity stands there quietly making goat noises at bawing. Is it a baw? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what noise is that? 
they make that noise. <laughs> Integrity quietly makes that noise at some clockworks pushing their cart and trying to do their job. We'll end this episode. Um, ben, can you do the outro? I knew this was coming. Hey, everybody. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Trials and Trebuchets. It was a lot of fun. Please leave a rating and review on our iTunes. It'll help us out a lot. Also, you can check out our Twitter and Instagram pages at Trials and Trebs. We have our Discord link as well on those pages there where you can join our server and come hang out with us. We're pretty much mostly there all the time. So come hang out with some cool peeps. Yeah. yeah. Talk to you guys next week. Yeah. Come hang out on our Discord. Uh, bye. 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 Bye.